All right, guys, real quick update on uh, the Red Cat Machete. So Red Cat has put out that there is a recall on this vehicle. There's a manufacturing issue. They haven't listed what all is going on with it, but there is a recall on this vehicle. Now, I did real quick want to show the different size comparisons between the Machete and then also a regular eight scale truggy, which I got my Morocco sitting right here. And there is, as you guys see, there are difference in size. But I also wanted to show you guys a couple of things. I went ahead and looked at that shock. Um, I rethreaded it, put a little something down in there to keep it in there. I'm de debating if I'm going to just send this back or not. So put it down in the comments. I'd like to know what you guys think about this. Um, and I'll tell you guys about the Red Cat recall, what they're doing. But what I was trying to do was fit one of my SMC light bulbs in there. And the reason why I was curious about this fitting just one light bulb in here compared to two is because of the bad the velcro straps that come in it so you guys see here with their regular velcro straps these straps are not long enough to fit a single this is a 5200 milliamp hard case lipo in it um they won't even strap up i mean it'll it'll strap in there just a little bit but you won't be able to secure this down so maybe red cat also needs to look at these velcro straps and put longer straps in here if you're going to run a single force light, well, I try to jimmy rig something right here. This is really not going to work because these, like I said, these will not strap all the way completely up in. I was just trying to start the vehicle up just to see if it functioned or not and still debating if I want to um, send this back and get a refund or keep the car, wait for the upgraded parts and then get a $50 credit that you can use on the wet, wet uh, red cat site, which I would probably just use it just to, of course, buy parts and stuff with for this vehicle. Um, so I'm not sure. I'm going to actually um, toss a coin up and leave this up to you reviewers. Do you guys want to go ahead and see me keep this vehicle and run it and go from there? Or should I send it back? And I'm giving this, I'm giving you guys trust in this because when it boils down to it, I do like to still review cars and stuff. And like I said, it is a beautiful truck just with that shock on the front end. I don't know what they're going to do about the box because I want my box. <laughs> I know some people are like, oh, it's just a box. It's petty. But I want my box because, like I said, I do keep boxes for vehicles and stuff, too. But I at least wanted to show you about these straps. This will fit like a um, a, three, a 3S LiPo and a single one, but it will not fit a 4S LiPo in it, as you guys see here, especially a hard case one. You might be able to get a 4,000 milliamp in there, but you definitely will not get a 5,000 or any hard case LiPos in it. So, um I don't know. Let me know in the comments below. I just wanted to give you guys a quick update. So they are trying to take care of their customers with this. And I did reach out to them and they did say, hey, you know, you can contact us tomorrow and we can work things out. You can just ship it back to us and we'll give you a full refund. I guess they'll send me a shipping label or I can keep the vehicle, wait about a month or so and get the upgraded parts because I did see. Uh, somebody else saying they were driving it, and I think their drive shaft or something was kind of um, floating a bit. I don't know. I got to see. I got to run the vehicle. I don't really want to go too much on everybody else's because they do have a 6S version, but I was going to make this 6S as well. Depends on how it runs it for us because, you know, you guys know sometimes I'm pretty satisfied with the way these cars kind of come stock out the box. But I may just keep it 4S and gear up and keep it at that because, like I said, I got my big boy here. I got a ton of cars. And I don't need every car to go 100 miles per hour, but I may do a speed run with this and put some belted tires on it, just see what kind of speeds we get. But anyway, I'm leaving that kind of to you guys. Put down in the comments. I do let you, want to let you know that it, they are doing a recall. They are trying to um, take care of the issue here. It's, it's going to take them a couple of weeks, but I'm pretty sure they'll give an update to um, these upper A arm parts in here that people are seen to be breaking. And it could be a couple of other things too. We don't know, but they did say that, um, if I recall, um, the final production model, which we have here is a little bit different than the testing model or something. I don't know. Maybe something wasn't made with the right material or something, but we'll see. But put down in the comments what you think about that. And like I said, we'll see how this goes.